This demo is for the creation of an interactive presentation. We will create a default transition between each page using preferences, create simple previous and next buttons, and add interactivity to one of the content pages. Let's begin. Start by going to Interactive Preferences under the Quark Express menu. Select Presentation from the menu on the left. Under Transition Effect, we will select Uncover and Left to Right. We'll enter two under time to make each transition last two seconds. Now we'll preview the entire presentation. We can see the first transition, then as we flip through pages, each has its transition lasting two seconds. To create previous and next buttons, we'll visit Page Layout and go to the Content page. Start with a regular Quark Express text box, type in Previous, and then format the box to 24-point trebuchet, white text on a dark red background. Size the box with the following information. X will be 20 pixels, Y is 730, width is 135, and height 30. Copy and paste the button to create the next one. Place it and change the text to read Next. Now, from the interactive palette, we'll make these boxes interactive. Click on our previous button, then click Object in the palette. Here we'll name it Previous Button and select Basic under Object Type. Click on our Next button and do the same thing. Now we will create events that correspond to the buttons using the Events tab in the Interactive Palette. With our Next button selected, we can make the User event click down, change the page by selecting Display Next Page under Action. Now we'll do the same thing with the Previous button. Just change the action to Display Previous Page. Close the palette and we can see the content pages now contain the buttons. Preview the presentation again and we can see how the buttons work. Next, on page 4 of our presentation, we'll create some interactivity that lets us display the images on the page only when the labels are clicked by the presenter. To do this, we need to make the images and labels interactive objects. Let's go to our interactive palette, then select our first label. Under the Object tab, we'll create a new object and name it Page 4 underscore Label 1. Next, select the corresponding image, and we'll call that Page 4 underscore Image 1. The object type is basic, and here under Options, we'll select Initially Hidden to create our effect. Continue by selecting the next label and naming it, and naming the second image. Remember to choose Option and Initially Hidden. Under the Event tab, we'll select our first label and choose what we want to have happen when the user clicks down. Select Action, Show Object, and we can select our Image 1 object here. We'll also add a Fade Transparent In Transition effect that takes two seconds. We'll do the same thing with Label 2, and make it show image to same transition.
preview the presentation and we'll navigate to page four using our button. And we can try out our new interactive object. So we click the labels and our images appear with a nice transparent transition. And that's our presentation.